Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We have a big weekend coming up in the Premier League, match week six. We have got some big fixtures tomorrow and then a big North London derby on Sunday. But starting off with the predictions for tomorrow's games, the biggest games tomorrow are definitely that uh, 7.30 Eastern time window with uh, Manchester United taking on Aston Villa and then the European champions, Chelsea versus the Premier League champions, Manchester City. Uh, starting off with the Manchester United Aston Villa game, I think this is a must win for Manchester United after losing midweek in the Carabao Cup and after losing their opening game in the Champions League. I think this is a must win for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to show that he has what it takes to lead this team to trophies in the future. And especially with this being back at Old Trafford after the way they played at Old Trafford on Ronaldo's debut, I think they need a strong performance to really prove to the rest of the Premier League and to the fans that, that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is, is the man for the job and that this team can, in fact, do something special. On the other hand, Aston Villa, I think they're a strong side throughout. Um, I think they'll definitely give United a run for their money. And if they can win the midfield battle, if they can put pressure on McTominay and Fred to get the ball off their foot quickly, make, put some pressure on and make some mistakes, I, I think they can really do some damage. But overall, I think United will come away with this. I don't think it will be a relatively smooth game by any means. Uh, we all know United in the past couple years has been pretty big in the, the comebacks and their record on the road has been a lot better than their uh, record at home. And I think that they'll come away with the three points, but they need it to be a smooth game. I don't think it will be. I think they're going to struggle again in midfield and a little bit at the back. But my score prediction, I'm going to go 2-1 United with uh, Aston Villa scoring first. And then I think I think Ronaldo and Greenwood will get on the, scre the, the score sheet tomorrow uh, with uh, Greenwood scoring the winner. Uh, on to the next game, another 7.30 game tomorrow. Uh, the big one, the big one of the weekend, Chelsea versus Manchester City. And... My God, have these these teams given up some some really good clashes over the past the past couple months? Um, with the the ch the Champions League final that has all at the edge of our all of us at the edge of our seats to just this game with all the the tension leading up to it with Pep Guardiola and the drama surrounding him and the Manchester City fans and how he's called out the Manchester City fans to to come to the stadium and support and doing that and then drawing to Southampton nil nil nil. Um, I think this is, both teams really need a result in this situation. Chelsea need to keep momentum going, and especially Chelsea being at home, they need to come away with the three points because Man City are looking a little bit vulnerable after the the draw to Southampton and then the sort of internal dilemma that's going on between Pep and the fans. Um, City look pretty vulnerable but we can't forget the city started off pretty shaky at the beginning of last year and they ended up pulling through but last year was a season of extraordinary circumstances that I don't think the season will have and there are a bunch of good sides that are really looking to put up high point totals to the end of the year and for Chelsea this this could just be a big way for them if they can come away with the three points to cement themselves as like as that title favorite over over city um Going into score predictions, uh, Mason Mount will be out for tomorrow. Uh, Gundogan has a knock. He may play, may not, but oh, this is going to be a tough one. I think I think Chelsea will win. I think it will be this 1-0 again, same as the Champions League final. I'm interested to see what lineup Pep puts, up, Pep, Pep puts out. We all know that he's had trouble going against this sort of makeshift back three, back five with wing backs attacking up the field as sort of wingers. Their Chelsea are so compact, but so wide. It's sort of, it's any, it's a manager's worst nightmare to come up against Chelsea because you don't see any flaws. But I'm interested to see the lineup Pep will put out. I think it will go one nil Chelsea as their defense has been super strong. Now getting Thiago Silva back, getting on the score sheet last week. Rudiger also getting on the score sheet last, last week. The morale is high as I think we can all agree in the Chelsea back line after clean sheet after clean sheet. The only clean sheet not kept this season in the Premier League was against Liverpool. 
and that was a penalty by Mohamed Salah. They still haven't conceded from open play, and I think that is incredibly impressive and just shows waves to how Thomas Tuchel has really changed this side. I just, I don't see Man City scoring. I, I don't. Without a, a strong number nine, I, I don't see them scoring. I think, I think a goal will come out of Chelsea's midfield tomorrow from either, could possibly be a Jorginho penalty, Kovacic has been getting on the score sheet lately. I think they'll do a pretty good job of keeping Lukaku under, under taps. Could be another Kai Havertz goal to <laughs> skip Chelsea the three points. I, I think we would all be pretty fond of seeing that just like we did in the Champions League final. But that, yeah, that's it for that game. I, I'm really excited to see how that kind of turns out. Everyone in the U.S. better better get their alarms set for that early one tomorrow, along with the Manchester United game. And then moving on to the another big game of the week, uh, Sunday, Arsenal versus Tottenham. The North London Derby back again in the Emirates with fans for the first time in over a year. I think as an Arsenal fan, this is the moment everyone's been waiting for. We don't... We don't care what else happens to us as long as we can beat Tottenham. We need to beat Tottenham. This is a must win for Arsenal. Being at home, starting off the season in the fashion we did, losing three in a row. If we beat Tottenham this Sunday, we will go above them in the table. We will be even on points, but have the head-to-head -head competition in our favor. And after Tottenham started nine points out of three games, top of the table, and we started zero points out of three games, bottom of the table. After six point, after six match weeks, we could be looking at us being level with Tottenham. And that as would just boost morale around the Emirates, around North London, around every Arsenal fan and every single player within Arsenal Football Club. It is a must win. I'm, not, uh, I'm very nervous. I'm nervous for the lineup Arteta is going to put out. I hope we keep a similar. The back line was good, except for Ben White. I He needs to play Ramsdale. Ramsdale was really good in the sticks. Um, I think you still do play Ben White because the alternatives, Mari holding is just that much more horrendous. But we need a big performance from Ben White. Gabriel's gonna do his thing. Tamiyasu's gonna do his thing. Tierney's gonna put in a shift and we really need a, a strong performance from Ben White and uh, the holding midfielders. Either if it's good, if he's going to do what he did last week and play one in Thomas Partey, or I think what he should do and what a lot of Arsenal fans have been saying is play Thomas Partey alongside uh, Lakonga in the midfield. And that's the midfield I think we all want to see. Or that with uh, Ainsley Mate Niles as he put in a pretty good shift uh, against Norwich. But the real questions for this Arsenal team come in the attack. Uh, we really haven't put anything through that was creative or one-two passing, overlapping runs. There's no smoothness or flow to the attack. They're, they're, these guys have good chemistry, I think, but they're just not putting it together in the on the pitch. You you see M.O. Smith-Rowe have a good opening games and the rest of them do pretty poor. And then um, Pepe sort of steps it up a little. Uh, Aubameyang sort of, he sort of steps it up, but not really. We... I think they can step it up on Sunday and they can prove that they can score some score some real goals, especially against a Tottenham back line that is experiencing a lot of injuries with uh, David Sanchez being out. Uh, Eric Dyer picked up a knock a couple weeks ago, but he will probably be playing. And uh, this is just a big opportunity for this club to prove something uh, to themselves, to the rest of the league. Uh, Arteta especially needs to prove to the fans, first of all, that he can do this and if he comes away with these three points on Sunday, I'm not saying everything is forgotten from the opening three weeks because that was a lot of a lot of pain living through it, but a lot is forgiven. And the way he will manage on Sunday, if it is smooth, if it's tactically sound, very well thought out, if everything goes to plan, if Arteta comes out with a good game plan, they stick to it and it's and it's good, I think you could see a lot of a lot of change in opinion among Arsenal fans. Just That's just the weight this North London derby always has. It's It can define seasons. Maybe, maybe not in league placement right now for us, but in emotional connection to the season, games like this define the season. The way you play against Tottenham, the, like 
that London rivalry, it just, it, it connects everyone. It connects the way you remember these seasons. But going into the prediction, I think, oh, I think we're going to, I'm going to go 2-1 Arsenal. I think Son will score. He always scores against us. He's incredible. There's nothing really else to say about it. He's really a world-class talent. Um, I think we will score first. I think I think Smith Rowe will finally get on the score sheet, and Aubameyang will score the winner uh, late in the second half. But that's my final score prediction: two one Arsenal. And that was those are my predictions for these big three games over the weekend. Uh, I'm absolutely buzzing to get this underway and see what happens. But yeah, I'll see you guys later.